All right, Jalen, so let's just start with, um, you know, how different are you this year from last year in, in terms of when you first got to WVU and how much did the red shirt help and, and how much was it tough to just sit and watch? Uh, first and foremost, it was super, super challenging to just sit there and watch. And even though I was a part of it, like it just killed me not being able to play because obviously I've been playing all my life. I really – never had to just sit there and watch and it was just a difficult challenge but I feel like I learned a lot I put myself in a good position I know what's going on I got stronger and I feel like I know how to play at this level now and right now I'm about a solid 220 last year it was I was 220 and it was a lot of water weight but I'm solid now I've gotten way better handling the ball like being able to scan the floor make plays for myself and my teammates. Obviously, I can shoot still. So I'm looking forward to really getting out there and playing against other guys because we go to war every day in practice, and it's, it's going to be a fun season. We'll go to Justin Jackson. Go ahead, Justin. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing really good. Hey, uh, I'm glad we got a chance to talk to you today because uh, – with the uh, new NCAA rules as far as eligibility goes, you're kind of in a unique uh, situation here, and I'm kind of interested in your thoughts in the sense that, you know, you were, were a redshirt freshman last year, obviously. You're a freshman this year, and then next year you could be a freshman as well. Uh, three years being a freshman, just kind of wondering, has, has that hit you? Have you thought about that? And, and uh, you know, could that be uh, something good or, or, or bad for you? Um, it's really super unique. Like my situation, I redshirted obviously. So I'm going to be a freshman again. And then next year I'm going to be a freshman again, which is kind of weird. But the more I think about it, it's like, I don't even know. I don't even know how to process it. It's just a lot of time to play for my state. A lot of time to have a lot of fun with Macaulay. We'll go to Cody Nesper. Go ahead. Hey, Jalen. Um, last week, Coach Huggins kind of talked about uh, you guys who, who are in-state guys um, kind of understand what it means better to come and play for WVU and represent the state. Yeah. And I was just wondering, what, what does playing for WVU mean for you as a West Virginia native? Um, here, we really don't have that much. We obviously don't have any professional teams, so WVU really is our state's professional team. And Every single kid in the in the state basically looks up to us as their sports team. Like they all idolize us and being an in-state kid, like I really understand that like way more than the other guys because where they're from, they have all kinds of different colleges, all kinds of different pro teams and we're, we're all we have. And it's really just an honor to be able to put on for where I'm from and wear that name across my jersey. Go to John Antonic. Go ahead, John. Yeah. Go. Hey, um, just getting back to the, the decision to redshirt. Um, I mean, you were a top 100 recruit. I mean, you weren't somebody that was a developmental guy. Um, walk me through that a little bit. I guess it's my understanding that your 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 family was on board with this too. This was yeah. this was a decision. It was kind of a group deal there. Walk me through that a little bit. So basically, I had five official visits scheduled, and I was supposed to go for go to prep school for a postgraduate year. And I just felt so comfortable with the visit, with hugs, with the players that I felt like I didn't need to waste my time on any other visits. And I was supposed to leave for prep school on Tuesday. And I ended up committing on – I committed on Sunday, but announced it Monday, and I was enrolled on Tuesday, the day I was supposed to go to prep school. So I just felt like mentally I wasn't ready to just make that big jump to the college game. So I just decided to redshirt, and my dad was on board with that. Coach Huggs was on board with that, and I just felt like it was a great opportunity for me to get stronger, just learn how to play at the pace of this level. Real, qu real quick, who were the five that you had lined up and where was the prep school you were considering going? The prep school I was considering going to was Scotland campus in Scotland, Pennsylvania. And my five, I think, 
it was obviously here. It was Xavier, Indiana, uh, I think, Alabama, and University of Miami, Florida. Not bad schools. Yeah, not at all. Devin Kinder, go ahead. Dylan, warming up for games last year. You know, watching you, you know, trying to see what parts of your game you're working on, things like that. What's going through your mind then? Are you warming up like you're going to play? Are you thinking about this year? You know, what, what, what were those times like for you? Uh, I was just kind of – my dad would tell me, just go out like you're about to play. Just work on your game because it's just basically time for me to just – really just go have fun. Like, I might as well get something out of it. So, really, I was just trying to work on my ball handling, making dribbles into shots and stuff like that. But also, you got to kind of have a little bit of fun for the fans, do a couple crazy dunks here and there. But really, I would go out. Me and Smacky were typically the first two out there because we just go to the games early because we obviously most likely weren't going to play. In his case, I obviously wasn't going to. So we just took that time to really get some extra shots up and work on our game. Go ahead, Greg Hunter. So Jalen, obviously in high school, you could score inside and outside because you were bigger than 99% of the, <laughs> the people. But now that you face big guys, bigger guys at this level, how, how has your game changed? What have you had to work on specifically? Um, I've had to work on making a move and taking dribbles into my shot before I was mo much more of a just stand there and catch and shoot guy. I feel like I've came a long way in that aspect. Also, before I could just kind of do whatever I wanted inside because I'm, I was 6'8 playing against guys who are six foot at the max. And now I've had to learn how to finish through contact do a few like up and unders, all that floaters, just expand my whole game, basically. Jerry Mercado, go ahead. Hey, Jalen, uh, Coach Huggins spoke pretty highly of you last winter in February and March and how you adjusted. Was there a moment where you adjusted really well and knew that you could compete with the guys that you're going up against in practice? I would say I was basically playing to survive most of the season in practice. But towards like midway through the season, I really started being comfortable. And with me being comfortable, I was just trying more. I was playing harder. I was just trying to score, trying to play, really play defense. And I say at that point, that's when I realized that like I belong here. Like I can really make something out of this. Go back to Justin Jackson. Go ahead. Hey, Jalen, uh, kind of going back to the uh, eligibility thing real quick. Uh, you know, like I said before, obviously you're kind of in a unique situation, but everyone in the roster is kind of in great, yeah. a unique situation here. Anything that you guys have talked about at all w with this rule, uh, what it means, uh, guys take advantage of it, they don't care about it, uh, anything that you guys have, you know, have talked about that rule at all? Uh, I'd say some guys are like, yeah, it really doesn't affect me, but other guys are like, I could do this. I could potentially play this year and then take next year off and then blah, blah, blah. It's a lot of different possibilities and we have a really good group of guys and I'm excited for what the next couple of years will hold. Go back to Greg Hunter, go ahead. All right, I'll let you take a shot at a couple of your, your Fairmont senior alums as, as well as you. Uh, you. You played with Dante. Uh, is he playing the right sport or should he go into basketball? And, and can Darius, Zach Frazier, Red Heston, Jake Abbott, can any of those guys play basketball at all? I feel like they all definitely made the right choice in what sport they're playing right now. Let's just keep it there. <laughs> Go back to John Antonin. Go ahead. I walked out of the room. I don't know if you ever asked this question or not, but I'm going to ask it. This, your shooting style. Um, I noticed you, 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 your, your ball is like a little bit I, lower. I used, to, I used to bring it from here. And yeah. Over. I mean, it works. Not anymore. I fixed it. Uh -huh. well, Where did that come from? It's from here. Um, I don't even know, honestly. It's like 
I when I would put the ball on the ground, it would be with my left hand. Uh -huh. So I'm just so used to having the ball over here that I would just bring it from here regardless of if it's catch or shoot or not, and I just shoot it. But now I feel like this whole summer, me and my dad spent working, reworking my form because it was kind of slow. Like it would take a little while to get off, but now it went from here to it's back normal. Back to normal. It's Obviously, uh, you got to get it off quick if you're going to yeah. shoot it that way. Of course. Yeah. We'll go to Carly Nevis. Go ahead, Carly. What's up, Jalen? Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Well, even though my camera's not on. Sorry. Um, <laughs> what is your role uh, being on this team? I mean, obviously, you guys have a lot of depth, but uh, position-wise, and just how do you see yourself fitting into this group? Um, I'm just looking forward to getting the chance to step on the floor and be a shooter, be a defender, and just provide any type of spark that I can for our team. I just want to be a contributor no matter – start, six-man, bench, whatever it may be. I just want to play. Back to Greg Hunter. Go ahead. So, Jalen, uh, you mentioned your father there. Uh, have you watched past film of him? Do you realize how good he was? And can he still compete with you? No, he cannot still compete with me. He's scared to play me. I'm just going to put that out there. But – I watched his state championship game with the one that they won. And that man was very talented. And I hear a whole lot of stories, but other than that, I've really not seen him play, but he's really made me the player that I am today. So he must, he must have been all right. Go back to Justin, go ahead. Hey, Jalen, obviously uh, last season ended uh, prematurely and, and disappointingly for mm -hmm for, you know, a lot of teams out there. Uh, the fact that it is, you know, the the worry and, and the pandemic is still kind of carrying over into this season. I'm just kind of wondering from a basketball standpoint, uh, from, your, from you and your teammates, what was it like to have that disappointment last year? And then probably you, you thought by by this year, you know, probably yeah. over with. obviously that's not the case. Uh, you know, there was talk of not having basketball this year. That you kind of take me through that process from the player standpoint. What were you guys worried about, talking about, you know, that kind of thing? Well, for us last year when it ended, we were kind of disappointed because that's when I feel like we really hit our stride. Like we were starting to play great defense. We were hitting shots. We were back to West Virginia basketball and then boom, it got canceled. But I feel like this year, it's going to be kind of hectic, honestly, because they said if anyone tests positive, like we got to forfeit games, stuff like that. That's what's being said. Who knows if that will hold up? But it's kind of it's scary. Like you never want anything to interfere with your season, but we're just kind of taking it a day at a time here. Any more questions for Jalen? All right, Jalen, appreciate it. Thank you for the time today. Thank you, guys.